Hey everybody, so this one should go faster because more people um, failed to turn this one in. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is um, just go through these one at a time, uh, give you some feedback on each of them, um, and hopefully uh, hopefully these videos are helpful. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. So, start with Ransom, Ghastly Breakfast. Uh, I like it. Yeah, this is this is cool. Um, I think that there's a there's an interesting thing you have uh, kind of happening here. That well, first, let me just tell you the, the parts that are, are working. Um, I would love to see that cereal pour longer. Is what I what I would really like to see. Like uh, it it's a little bit like um, uh, dissatisfying that it cuts away so soon. So I would like if you can get a few more frames on that, that would be cool. But it's not hurting it now. Um, a couple of things that I think would add to this is to have, um, so I, I'm guessing how this is set up right now, there's a couple of things happening. Like you get that, it pops out, he turns around, the cereal pours on him. So there's two things, there's that bounce up and down, and the fact that the smoke that is coming out of the back sort of rotates so perfectly with him. Um... And it, so it just feels like this like box of smoke. So think of that if like if like exhaust from a car, but if the car goes up a hill, the exhaust that's already came out doesn't point downward like after that, right? Like it's kind of like it should be trailing off, and he should kind of exist a little separately from the um, smoke around him. Um, one of the ways to do that is to have the emitter um, attached to the object instead of the entire. Um, in particle, is it? No, I'm sorry. The uh, uh, entire fluid um, uh, container attached to them. Um, the other thing is you could we could use a constraint. So I can show you this. Where basically it will follow his translates, but not his rotates. So he can rotate around, but wherever he moves, that box will still kind of go with him. And I have a feeling it's some variation of that is what you're going for, because um, it feels like it all kind of goes perfectly together with every motion. Um, including the rotation, which seems kind of strange. Um, the bounce up and down there with the the cereal box and the 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 character, like they bounce at like perfect unison, same height, and so they feel like they're stuck together too. I think just offsetting the timing on that, like have the ball sort of bounce up and down like at a slightly different interval, like maybe like a frame earlier, a frame later, so you're getting that overlapping action, so they don't feel like they're moving together. Um, I love that you did the mouth opening thing. I think that came out really good. Um, actually, the, the whole scene came out really good. That's just a, a small way in which you could you could tweak it. And I think it's a good usage of the the different elements, which is um, the um, the steam and and all of that. So um, so great job on that. Yeah. Um, so uh, give me one second here. Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm backspacing over some stuff here. There we go. Um, just on the other screen. Do not be alarmed. This is not about you. I just want to be able to show you all the, the grading scheme for this one as well um, in a minute. So yeah, great job. Um, I like the textures. I like the lighting. All of that's looking really great. So good job. Um, all right, Abdullah. Um, breakfast scene. Let's see. So... Um, again, just for everybody who's turning in the Maya files, um, like when I just have a Maya file, that means I'm not going to be able to see any of the textures or any of that stuff. So, yeah, nice scene here. Let's see what you have in terms of animation. Um, so you got your steam happening. It's a little nuclear, but um, it looks like you're still needing the um, uh, the the cereal or, or some sort of particles to to happen there. So, yeah. Um, if we, if you are needing to um, meet with me or whatever to to figure out any of the details, please feel free to do that. Um, there we go. So the cereal is emitting into the box. It seems like you're just you're needing to finish pouring it out and uh, rendering it. So yeah, try to see if you can do that within the next few days. Here, I think um, this is going to impact a couple of things that are that are on the list, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, I would suggest watching to the end of the video, but um, go ahead and if you need to you know, go out there I can show you the breakdown of how the grades are going to work. Um, 
a couple of things with the chair. Um, I don't. I would be interested to see what this chair is kind of based off of. Like this feels like they're like almost like bamboo pieces. Um, keep in mind, like chair, like objects aren't always made of like one piece. Um, and so like it would be okay if you needed to break this up into smaller pieces, even for texturing reasons. Right? Um, the only reason I say that is like I feel like these these spindles in the back usually in most chairs are not quite as thick as the legs. Um, but that's not a, a, a big um, a big concern. Um, and uh, so yeah, something kind of interesting going on with the bowl here with these with these spikes uh, going down. So, um, so yeah, cool. Uh, you just let me know if you need help with any of the rendering or anything like that. But um, I, I will take this into account when I when I do the grading. So, okay. Um, Ben. Oh yeah, I remember this one because these make me like hungry for milk duds. Um, yeah, I like this. The bowl looks really good. The plate looks really good. Actually, all the models look really good. Um, so it feels like a kind of a small handle for that big of a cup, and the lip of the cup feels a little thin. Um, your steam is um, nice and subtle. Like you got, um, I like the beginning of it there. Um, I wish you could keep that amount of wisp in it throughout, but I think you're. I think it's it's looking pretty good. And the simulations looking good here. The biggest thing is like the biggest like sore thumb that sticks out here is just the the plain box. Like it just needs. If it just had a texture on it, that would bump this entire thing up quite a bit. Um, and some of this texturing on the table is like a little bit blurry because of the um, the resolution so if you could get it to repeat I think that would help as well so um, simulation looks great I love these see a little bit of it sort of pop up over the side when it first pours in there um, my two cents I would consider change I, I like that you're getting the cabinets back there I would consider changing the angle a little bit and um, so we could see the cereal pouring into the bowl because I have a feeling that parts kind of impressive looking um because you're getting this really nice like way it rolls up here almost out of the bowl um so i'd like to kind of see that um the reason these are reading as milk duds though is because they have the highlights on them and so if you could, if you can sort of pull back on the shininess i think that will help so i wanted to show you this um if i if i went in here at arnold um let's just do something easy plane sphere right scale that plane up um and then I'm going to do the Arnold Sky Dome Light, right? And on that Sky Dome Light, I will map in a file. Um, I'm just going to show you all this, even though this isn't something you necessarily have to, to do. Do I have anything that renders down here? Here, I know there's some in this. Um, so let's use this. Um, image here. No. Why are those the ones I choose? There we go. So you get this nice HDRI image in the background that's, that's going to give you this pretty nice lighting setup, right? Um, and that's really cool, but sometimes like the environment just doesn't, like you don't necessarily want to see this, right? Uh, so a couple things. You're seeing that grain, um, and I, I talk about this in the previous video. I, I would encourage you to check that out. That grain that's coming in this render, render, if I just change that to like five, it'll usually get most of that out, right? Um, so now it's a much cleaner looking render. The other thing is on this sky dome, if I scroll down here, there's different things I can turn off in terms of visibility, right? Um, and so one of them is the camera, and what that means is that this Sky Dome, although it will still cast light in the scene in the same exact way, I think it even still casts reflections, um, It we don't see it. Right? And so like I can turn that off, and we'll get the same render, it's just on this black background. Right? The interesting thing too is it's, it's also on a... Um, alpha channel so like the white part is what I'll be able to see in my render the black part is transparent if I want it to be so I can take this into Photoshop and composite it into a different background or Premiere put a different like 
solid color background back there or whatever it is I want. Right? So this is a nice way of being able to composite some stuff um, in, in 3D as well. So I just wanted to show you, you can turn that camera all the way down and that might be, like I like the, um, oh, sorry. I like the, the background and everything, um, but that might be, um, like you might be trying a little too hard to show the background um, as part of your environment. Um, and it's, uh, right now it's like, it feels like your table is like five feet high, um, like off the ground because those are like your, your kitchen cabinets, right? Um, but otherwise I think uh, the biggest issue is just getting a texture on that box. So, cool. Um, Sierra, oh, um, I think you have a revision too um, in this. So let's, let's watch this really quick. Let's see what you got. Okay. I remember this. Yeah, and the, I love it. You got them all except for these little pieces that are falling out early on. You got all those in the material. I like the, the placement of the plate as it roll, rolls by. It almost doesn't feel like it's um, landing completely on the ground. It still feels like it's floating just a little bit at the end there. Um, yeah, cool. So let's go look at your revision. I know you said you were going to do, or I know I saw one of these in here earlier. Um, oh, yeah. I don't remember now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know what's causing that. I, I wonder if you're rendering it in sections and for some reason not, like maybe the project isn't set. Uh, make sure your textures aren't like on a. Um, in a different, uh, um, like on your jump drive, and then you take your jump drive out, and then like you, you plug it back in, they, they come back. Um, but uh, like it's better with the textures. I wish it would stay on the, the floor too. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of keep that into consideration. But if you can get another version with the, the textures fully working, I think that that would really help. Um, yeah, cool. This looks much better. Um, I like your your design in your box. Feels like maybe it's not lining up perfectly with the box, but it's getting pretty close. Um, you did some neat stuff. You uh, used the render of the the bowl on there and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, I guess it, it would be neat if this had some form of texture on the cereal, um, but otherwise, I think this is looking pretty good. Um, and maybe that the noise that's on the coffee maybe just a touch much it feels like it's kind of a um an ocean in there and so like maybe pull that back just a little bit on your bump mapping um otherwise this is looking really good so great work okay Okay. Um, I wonder what's happening there. Um, okay. I see that you have all the elements in here. I think um, I, you know the the simulation is a little all over the place. Obviously, needs a render. Um, and although I see something in here that looks like it may be an attempt at the um, the steam, it's not really doing anything in there or I can't really see that anything's coming out um, some of that is about the way it's placed uh, I, I wonder if what's happening here is like you don't have the box as a uh, collider um, for the cereal and so it just starts pouring through it and so you just sort of throw it across the room um, so yeah, I think uh, just keep working on it. Try to see if you can um, pull this together. Um, again, kind of the same thing I, I said earlier with the student. Like the the back pieces like feel kind of like they don't necessarily all have to be part of the same model. Like chair legs and the the seat of the chair is usually two different pieces, right? And so um, you're you're welcome to model it in that way as well. So cool. Um, what? Oh uh, yeah, I love that, and I love you. You incorporate a um, a moving object in there, so that's good. That's a, that's part of the bonus. Your your milk in this container looks awesome. I'll be honest, the only thing I really have an issue with in this is how far away we are in this scene. 
um, that and like how quickly that cereal box goes flying away. Um, especially like after you get all the cereal poured out, I'm not sure it's necessary to throw it away like that. Like I don't know why you don't just sort of set it back down here. Um, I love the. You yes, got some. You have some melting butter going on over here too. Really slowly, like changing shape. It looks like. The only reason I notice is because when it pops back there at the end, um, your steam's looking pretty good. Uh, like I love that though. The steam's a little like round. If you get a little bit more wispiness to it, I think that would look. Um, a little better so I think my biggest note is I would just push some of this stuff together and get your camera in there just a little bit closer like staging wise it's a little um, a, a little like distant and so some of the really cool stuff is small we can't really see it as well so um, but good job okay Gabe blast and that thing is a gig and a half almost let's pull this down um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and skip you while that's copying because it'll take a few minutes. We'll go ahead and start watching the the next one. You being sucks. Okay. Uh, the fact it's copying that other one down is, is slowing this playback down. I'm trying to I'm trying to move it over. Oh, what just happened? see so um let me see if I can pause this down for a second while we watch this yeah I think this I mean I think your modeling looks pretty good on the cup um the box the cereal is a little tiny I think somebody said it looks like dipping dots um it looks like what you got going on here has to do with the UVing so that's kind of neat um, and your spoon is kind of boxy. It looks a little bit like a measuring spoon, and the back of it's kind of defying gravity. So maybe get that down on the the table there. Um, I, I like what the the rendering's looking okay, and that's just the sky dome light. Um, a an HDRI image on that would probably help. Um, but yeah, I think that this is working pretty well. Um, doesn't look like you have any steam. I uh, may be wrong. Let me watch from the beginning again. Uh, it's sort of slowing down because of that download, so yeah. Um, pause it again. Yeah, so it doesn't look like you have any steam coming out at all. Um, and definitely, like, some textures in this box, like Mysterious Green Box cereal, like, is, um, you know, like, UVing does suck, um, but it is kind of part of it. And so I think working on getting something that wraps around there, I think, would be very, it would add a lot to this piece, so... Um, simulations looking good on the cereal though, and I think the, the the modeling of the coffee cup is nice as well. So cool. Let's go ahead and stop that one. Okay, so this is um, Gabe. So let's see if it'll play back. So one of the issues with a play blast is that it's huge if you don't change the settings. So let me just go ahead and show you that right now. Um, right click. Play Blast. Um, so I always change it my format to QuickTime. Yours is probably set to AVI, so set it to QuickTime. Set the encoding to H.264, and then turn the quality and scale all the way up. Right, and hit um, Save to File, and that's that's how you're going to get a file that is not enormous. Um, so in terms of this one, you also don't necessarily if you cache this out. Um, you shouldn't have to simulate all that stuff or play blast all that stuff from the beginning either. Um, and finally, there's there's no real collisions happening on any of those objects either. So, like they're not self colliding, and that's why they're going through each other, and that's why like it puts all that cereal in there, and you dump out like what looks like a couple of spoons full. Um, so uh, when we pour that out. Yeah, you see how it all like kind of sticks together, 
right there. So giving those things some, some self-collision and a size will help, and obviously a, a render in here. There's also no steam on the coffee cup right now either. So, All right, cool. I'm actually going to have a uh, student here to visit, so or has, has some questions. So I'm going to go ahead and stop, and I'll come back, and the next video will be uh, starting with Nathan. So thanks. Wait, where's my recorder?